I'm going to show you how to enter the Hufflepuff common room in any house. Now, the original source of this I'll have in the pinned comments, but here's how I recommend doing it. Get yourself to the Transfiguration Courtyard. You can find that in the Astronomy Wing right here. Just take the flu powder, and that's where I'm standing right now. Now, to save yourself some time, make it a little easier, go all the way over here to the Great Hall, and mark, you want a waypoint to the Great Hall's flu. Just go back. And now we're going to go through a window right here. So jump through this window, turn around, go back under Hogwarts, get on your broom, and now we're going to head towards the Great Hall. So just fly over this way. You don't have to mark it. This is really easy to get to, but this is just a good way to orient yourself if you're not used to the trip. So here we're at the Great Hall. As I said, you could skip this part. We're going right over here to the right of the Great Hall. And what you're going to see are these ovals. This means these are the common room. Now, the way I've been getting in is right here. Now, please be careful. You can get too close to the edge here and actually be inside of a dresser. And if that happens, sometimes you're just going to have to actually force close the game. But just try to land. And as you can see here, I'm under a bed. But all you have to do is open close and you're in. That was just me opening my inventory and closing it. That'll let you out sometimes if you're stuck right against the wall. Sometimes it won't let you uh, won't let you actually open your menu. And yes, there are chests in here you can access that you can't access normally. And as you can see, we are here. Let's go in. Head off. And boom, there is the Hufflepuff common room. I forgot to actually take the common room uh, scene in my Gryffindor video, but as you can see, we are actually in the common room. We have full access. As I said, just be a little careful on entry, save beforehand, be willing to shut the game off if it won't let you open your menus like happened to me once. But yeah, this is pretty cool, being able to see all the common rooms on one account if you don't want to actually make multiple characters. Hopefully this helps you out. See you in the next video. I'm gonna do this for every single house.